I waited and I waited and I waited and I finally pulled the trigger and I am so glad I did. Another great combination of two artists coming together. Great shape coming up. Hello again, Michael Friedrich here from beautiful North Carolina with a fantastic shave for today. I've been waiting quite a long time for this. I finally pulled the trigger on a custom brush from Dogwood Handcrafts. I've been looking at them for quite a while, trying to figure out what I wanted to do and if I was really going to go ahead and do it. And I did, and I'm so glad that I did. I also went for the Declaration Grooming Knotting Service. So this is a B7 badger knot hand tied by declaration grooming in this fantastic custom dogwood handcrafts handle handle is three inches in height it is a 26 millimeter b7 knot from declaration grooming it has opened up very nicely when it first came of course the knot was a little bit tighter it has opened up very very nicely it's been a joy to use the handle style is a very gentle hourglass shape that i have had modeled after the bottom but slightly less exaggerated style of the rod knee brush which is the same size that is also a three inch handle which fits my hand size very very well beautiful gentle shape to it very easy to hold ergonomic just feels great and i love the combination of the orange with a bit of sparkle in there it gives a bit of depth to the bottom and then the just wonderfully colored wood at the uh, at the top there beautiful brush size is perfect for me been absolutely fantastic to use all week along with and pairing with and I've been holding off on using for this exact reason declaration grooming Trismegistus three greatnesses I love these names that are super hard to pronounce because you never really quite know if you're saying it right but I believe that that is correct so this is another uh, bison tallow shaving soap this I believe also this is the avocado oil mango seed butter castor oil lanolin sea buckthorn extract, white willow bark extract, and grape seed extract. Fantastic stuff, a lot of botanical ingredients in there. Just excellent, excellent stuff. Let me just show you what it looks like in the container. Light brown, very soft soap. So I've been scooping this out into the Captain's Choice loading bowl. I actually scooped out enough for exactly up to yesterday's shave, so I've gone back and added some for today, which you can see in there. I, of course, put too much in there, but I figure why not give myself plenty to load from for today. The razor is, yet again, the fine accoutrements marvel because I'm having way too good a time shaving with it. I'm going to assemble it for you now. There is the top cap. I'm shaving with blades that were provided to me by Friend at Work. They are the Derby Premium Blades. Let me just put that in there and I'll show you the wrapper in just a moment. Base plate plus a washer. I've also switched up the handle, which I didn't do last week, but I did this week. This is the Icon um, Icon handle, which I had normally on the X3 slant. So there is the razor assembled. This is the wrapper for the Derby Premium. And I started off the week and almost immediately switched from these rainbow blades. These are made, I believe, in Egypt. That blade did not work for me at all in that razor tuggy and rough and just after the first shave I, I swapped it out almost immediately so those are not for me all right let's go get my face wet we'll wet the brush through it's a badger brush so it doesn't need to be soaked it just needs to be worn through which i will do in just a moment and we'll go ahead and start lathering up yeah i've been looking at those uh at those handles for quite some time so i think that stephen joiner does an amazing job on those color combinations, the stained wood, the mix of materials, just uh, very, very well done. All right, there you go. I'm gonna go ahead and just wet the knot through. I've had, I've washed out the knot once. I actually used it the first time without really thinking about it. I just started lathering up and went. There's a, just a bit of discoloration, some, you know, sort of uh, brownish water coming out at the end, just as you normally clean the knot. I would have normally done that beforehand, but I was just so eager to use it. I just went right for it zero prep okay i'm just sort of wetting it through shake out most of the water but not too much um, because the soap is so soft and because the brush is 
quite dense and has a lot of backbone, you don't really want to crush the brush into the soap because you're just going to pick up a huge amount of soap. Um, and it's already actually, you can, I can feel it sort of creating a paste. All right, I'm going to add a bit of water. Yeah, the brush is, or the knot, is quite dense, a lot of backbone, very soft tips, um, and splays, but doesn't splay or sort of collapse open. It opens, but it doesn't collapse open, which is a really nice combo. Really, a, a, just wonderful for face lathering. All right, let me just see. That might be enough. If not, I'll go back. All right, dip a bit, just trip a bit, drip a bit of water on there. Let my face again. Yeah, you can see that's splaying, but that is not collapsing at all. There is no scrub or scritch. It remains soft throughout. Handle just fits really, really well in my hand. All right, I'm gonna drip a bit of water on there. This is a bit of a thirsty soap, and because it is so soft, it's easy to pick up quite a bit. The scent on this is a, a mix of a um, kind of a slightly sharp citrus. I think the next note in there is geranium. There's a, I know geranium's in there, so it's a nice kind of a, a distinct floral scent, but the strongest scent for me is the vetiver and the cedar. So it's kind of a light citrus and a light floral scent, sort of crisp and distinct on top of the, uh, the cedar and the vetiver, and a really, really nice scent. Scent strength is pretty strong. It's certainly not overpowering. All right, I'm going to add just a touch more water. I'm just kind of paint it in. There we go. Yeah, these uh, these bison tallow soaps for decoration grooming just work very, very well for me. Icarus may be a theoretically better base, but you know, the margin there is so minimal in some ways. This is a fantastic soap. And if you never got to use the Icarus base, you know what? This is still be an absolutely fantastic option. All right. This is the fifth shave on this blade. I think that's right. Overall, pretty happy with these blades. I'm not going to say they're my new favorites. My expectations were quite low based on my experience with the other, with the original Derby blades, the white plastic package with the green cardboard insert. Those are not good. These are much better. I have a nice balance of sharp and smooth, but not overly sharp. As always, just over two days worth of growth. I am very likely going to shave with the Marvel one more week because I actually do have Permasharp blades and I think what I want to do is trade this one out and try one of those next week. Yeah, this soap works very, very well for me. Real pleasure to use.
did take a bit of adjustment because of the way the brush picks up that much soap. I may obviously come back to the brush a number of times during the course of the year and probably try it out on some of the hard soaps I have coming up. Yeah, and I think there was a, a bit of a back and forth on the last YouTube video in the comments section about um, aggressive razors or vendors kind of drifting over towards more aggressive razors and kind of shutting out the people who like a mild razor. Um, I, I don't think I would classify the Marvel as an aggressive razor. It does have a large blade gap, but I don't feel it to be aggressive at all. It's not a mild razor. It is a very efficient, but also a very comfortable razor. So if you normally shy away, you shy away from aggressive razors because you don't like the face feel, you don't like to feel the blade on your skin, you don't feel like there's enough control over the blade edge, or you just have to be too careful when shaving, you just want to be able to shave a bit more, sort of automatic pilot, I would still absolutely give this a try because I just don't experience this to be an aggressive kind of naked razor at all. So if you're hesitating, then I would say, go ahead, risk it and get one. Okay, second pass, this is gonna be across the grain. Let's warm that up a little bit. Yeah, very nice slickness on the soap. You can make it quite dense and creamy if you want. You can add a lot of water and get a slightly thinner but still very slick lather. All right, other side. Uh, this handle is a great compliment to the razor. There's nothing wrong with the original handle for this razor. But if you like a bit more knurling, then yeah, you can simply substitute it. Yeah, and I feel like this blade is starting to get probably close to being done. I don't think I would push this another day, honestly. All right, let's do the mustache. Little tuggy right there. But yeah. Actually, quite a pleasant surprise because I really didn't expect these to be very good at all. All right, final rinse. And let's lather up for pass number three. I think I'll have enough soap in there. Yeah, the brush has got just very nice backbone, solid density to it, beautiful soft tips. Like I said, no real scrub or scritch. And I wouldn't describe it as kind of like overly pillowy soft. Just a, a very nice balance. Soft tips, good density and backbone in the knot. Beautiful face lathering brush, gotta say. There we go. So you can see plenty of lather still in there and there's still a bit in there, obviously. All right, let's rinse off. Final pass, here we go. This is going to be against the grain, mostly. Go. 
Yeah, soap is just really, really good. That's all there is to it. Scent is fantastic. I've actually had this since last year's Maggard meetup. And I've been holding on to it on purpose because I kind of knew, I was hoping there'd be kind of a way to kind of combine, combine these products. It just felt like the time was right. Go ahead and spring for custom handle and the nodding service, and I'm I'm glad that I did. All right, mustache, and we're done. Yeah, and I'm sorry it was kind of getting boring watching me shave with the with the Marvel, but I am really, really, really enjoying this razor. So yeah, I think at least one more week with it, and then I have a razor coming up that frankly. I bought it in a moment of weakness and then I forgot that I bought it and then when it showed up I remembered oh yeah I bought this thing and there was a brief moment of regret and questioning everything my life is about but you know what I'm gonna shave with it anyway all right let's rinse off very nice residual slickness slightly difficult to rinse but not hard with a, uh, a nice slick feel to the skin. Post shave, I feel is very, very good. Let's towel off. Yeah, wow. Man, that was a, just such an easy, easy shave. There we go, all right. Yeah, post shave on the soap I think is really good. Uh, I'm not sure if it's the combination of the botanicals in there or the fact that it has lanolin. I, I don't know. Just it just really works out. It just works well for me. However, I'm not going to stop there because I happen to have the matching aftershave, which doesn't contain alcohol and does contain menthol, but also contains its own set of botanical ingredients. These aftershaves work very well for me. Now, I will say I made a mistake one day. I put on too much. Like I used sort of the normal full amount and then I figure I smell pretty good. I should smell even better. And I put on more. And that was a bit of a mistake. It was a slightly kind of um, a little bit gritty feel once it dried down. I just think I had just too much on there because normally my skin feels very good. So there's an alcohol hit, there's an immediate cooling sensation from the menthol, but there's also kind of a, uh, I don't know, just makes your skin feel really good. There's just a nice balance of the alcohol and the menthol, I'm gonna put a little more on. There we go. So again, this is not a moisturizing aftershave. This is a real aftershave because it contains alcohol and the menthol. It's gonna feel a little bit tight maybe. Toning, cooling, delicious. If you put on too much, like for me, I'm pretty sensitive to menthol, so if you put on too much, maybe your eyes are gonna water a little bit, like I can feel it a little bit right now. But man, just a very, very nice cooling effect. Just enough. The middle bowl of porridge, as they say. Okay. Well, guys, I think that's it. Mm, it's like a nick right there. No, that's just irritation right there. I've had a couple spots during the course of the week. Like, oh, you know what? The temperature's swinging here like crazy. We've had tons and tons of rain. So it's incredibly wet and moist. We've had a few days where there's like been a rise in the temperature. The Bradford, Bradford pear trees are already blooming. 
So like things are really out of whack and yep, I'm going to feel it a little bit in the next couple months, I am sure. No matter. We're going to truck on. Let's cover today's products. Number one, beautiful, handmade, custom crafted brush from Dogwood Handcrafts. Wood, this is the uh, stained wood, colored wood with the orange and sparkly bottom. Beautiful brush, not from Declaration Grooming, that's the B726mm Badger Knot. Fantastic brush. I love the shape. I love the color combination. It fits in my hands really well. It is the same size as the Rodneep Lignum Vitae brush, which is also very easy to hold. That sort of gentle curved shape to the bottom for me works out well. And I love the fact that there is no, there's no bead separating the top half from the bottom half. Just a nice, simple, symmetrical shape. Number two. Fantastic. So again, this is the Bison Talov uh, base from Declaration Grooming. Trisma Justice, beautiful scent, so easy to use. Just overall, this is just a winner for me. Love the stuff. Very, very glad that I bought it. Kind of sad I had to hold on to it for so long before I got to it, but that is unfortunately kind of the nature of the beast. And then followed up by the matching aftershave. I've seen it, one person complain, I believe, that they thought that the scent here did not match the scent of the soap. That's not my experience at all. That the, the aftershave smells. Uh, I think more strongly than the soap, but has the same kind of bright citrus and a floral note with the cedar underneath it, vetiver, just a very, very nice scent. And the scent strength is strong enough that although you will not be smelling it distinctly after hours, it is still definitely there and you'll sort of catch whiffs of it through the course of the day, which is great. And then finally, last but not least, the uh, Fine Marvel, this is week number three. There's likely gonna be a week number four, and then we'll move on to uh, to another razor after that. But I think next week it'll be the uh, the Fine Marvel with a perma sharp blade in there, and we'll see how that one goes. Oh, all right, wow, yeah, that, man, that was really, really good. Well, I wanna say, as always, again, thank you so much for watching these videos. I really appreciate the time you're taking to watch these. As always, I appreciate the comments and questions. Please keep those coming. You can post against this video or any previous video. Again, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, goodbye.